first look at Stadium Creator starting now. So the Stadium Creator tab is up in the upper right corner like it was before. And this is completely different here on the menu here. We've got My Stadiums, Template Stadiums, Enclosed Field, Party Field, Family Park, Open Air Field, Hip City, Opportunity Park, Mountain Yard, Red Canyon Run, Double Decker, Tropical Falls, Island Triz Park, Question Marks, Aquarium Ballpark, Fantasy Cove, Rodeo Field, uh, University Field, Varsity Park, The Slopes Field, Hot Tropic, Let's Snow, Red Bricks Field, <coughs> Gwyn Field, a couple of these were in MLB 21 also, Mega Dex, Lighthouse Park, Sweet Victory, Outskirts Field, a lot more templates this year. Dino Lair, I think that one was in uh, 21 also. Major Canvas, Minor Canvas, and Blank, which is going to be my favorite to start off with a clean slate and you don't have to delete stuff. So that's nice that they added that to it. Okay, so you can clone stuff now. It was copy and paste. You hold L1 and press X, it's going to clone it for you. Prop grouping is a massive addition this year, it definitely is. So allow you to treat the selected props as one prop to move, yeah, that's huge. That's our uh, multi-select I was hoping that we would get. Added, added. Ah, there we go. So this is what used to be on the uh, big middle button. <coughs> Stadium properties. Here's where we name our stadium, our city, location, altitude, year built, all that good stuff. That's in a new spot now. You hold R1, hover over this. It had properties before, but you use the right analog stick and it selects field, scenery, properties. These are all the things that uh, we had before. They were just in a different menu. So they really cleaned all of this up. So the camera here is uh, different speeds. I just put on fast. They had slow, medium, and fast. So fast is obviously... This is going to be great. Uh, the slower camera is going to be great for uh, showcasing the stadium. Let's say we're going here and... Uh... Oh, I just did a wall. Okay. Got to do it outside of there a little bit. Everything is, uh, all these options are with uh, the proximity of where you are. When you select L1 or R1. So we're going to go in here, go to slow, just to see what happens. So now I can go full speed here. And it kind of slows it down a little bit when I'm uh, going around a stadium to show it off. All these great stadiums that everybody's going to make this year. Hopefully we get to showcase some and uh, show them to everyone so they can enjoy them. That's kind of what that slower camera is for. Or if you're doing something medium is kind of what it was at before. And then fast is if you got to get from point A to point B in no time. It seems like uh, the edge... It's probably about the same this year, but it's not doing that overhead camera. So before you'd get to the edge and it would do this kind of stuff. And you'd have to try and move props like this and you couldn't get around. It's kind of a barrier now. Like you can't even get all the way out here to the end. It looks like this is all going to be uh, pretty similar. The grass patterns, maybe a little bit different. There are a couple different things here. It looks a little bit better though. Maybe uh, some wider uh, markings there. Split, that's different. Straight away was in there. Straight away two, just a modified version of it. 
this is different. I like it. And then back to our regular stuff. Infield Dirt. They've changed the names of these too. I like that one. I like that one. Dark Clay. It's got a little bit different cut out there. We had Grass 2, which kind of matches everything a little bit better. Grass 3 is new. A little bit darker grass. So these are all the same. No new, uh, no new distant scenery. But the main thing on this is you can go to none now. Before you had to clear the whole thing, clear all the stands out, and uh, kind of do it a little bit custom, a little work around. But uh, they now have none as an option. Let's go through batter's eyes. Let's see what we've got. They changed the names on all of these also. Rotate. Oh, this is new. Okay, we can uh, we can slightly turn the batter's eye this year. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I don't know who would want their batter's eye to be slanted, but we'll see what we do with it. Players Alliance is new. I think that was a minor league baseball sign before. Same, same, the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. All the same. This is new. Stadium jerseys. That's cool. Now I wonder what this does. Okay. One light tower lights part of the field. That's pretty cool. Modern plaza level. This was our, uh, you know, this is where our press box is, like the second deck. This is a new feature that was added. Where it's saying, let's go, that's going to be like your uh, wraparound scoreboard that you would see. Snap to prop, there we go. Let's say you're going around here, it's going to show your score, your different stuff. You know, during the national anthem, it would have the flag there. That's a new feature right there. One question I have. Oh! Look at that! We have light up letters at night. That is cool. This just keeps getting more and more exciting. I mean, where do we go from here? Check this out. We're gonna have a little fun. We're going to group. See, these are all blue, so they're multiple selections. Man, this is probably my most favorite feature on this this year. A multi-select tool. We're going to take this whole sign and just move it around a little bit. Now I do know you can do multiple groups together in this too somehow because I got a little overwhelmed by it at the very beginning at least from what I saw because one turned blue and the other turned yellow and I didn't know why but I was also learning the controls at that time it was about 10 minutes into the game oh I messed up okay they're all selected group Ah, look at that. That is probably the biggest feature that they added to this. I can just go around here with all of this and just have a good time here. Perfect. Love it. Nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. This is the nice part about this right now, though. See ya. Alright, so one thing I notice about this, this is good. So we saw what the, the light towers do, but I just realized this also. The stadium has lighting already. You don't have to really worry about, uh, I mean, you do have a little bit of shadows out here in the outfield, but 
if you're playing back here and I'm sure they're gonna have ball trail or something here and then it's a little darker in center but that's probably because um, you'll be able to see the ball better the only bad thing is and I wish they had changed this part um, the only thing is if you're gonna use numbers you're still stuck with the white wooden signs if you have any kind of numbers that you want used one thing I notice here with our flags our flag is uh, waving in the wind I don't know if that changes or varies during uh, different conditions but I like it the flag was always resting before you kind of just place it however this time I guess you don't really need to rotate it a certain way yeah so without anything around no light poles or nothing this is what your night games look like so I was thinking they were gonna require you to have light poles in a certain place and all that stuff I'm really glad they don't have that huge new feature right here you press uh, you press square I got the camera over it right now you press square and you can flip the walls left field wall can go to right instead right can go to left let's say you want that taller wall in right field because you pull the ball with righties all the time just hit square that's huge that's something that was not there last year we couldn't mess with the height at all it was all uh, pre-made then you can change your material right on the same screen this year you can go into these wall presets you can hit L2, R2, you can bring it up, you can bring it down on these presets, or these preset uh, distances, and it's playable. This is playable online with it this low. Same deal. Playable. That's awesome. This is something also, they have template walls from the template stadiums we saw earlier kind of some different dimensions looks like that you can't normally get like what in the world is that that's playable too I already feel comfortable enough to make a stadium in this right now and I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go extreme with it too we're gonna put something in the vault that people will love to use on day one <laughs> 